Okay, um, so let's proceed to another topic, which is the definite integral. So, summation, summation notation. So, let y equal to f of x be a continuous function over the closed interval a, b. Okay. So, for example, this is our um, continuous function na y is equal to f of x. Then, over a closed interval a, b. Sabihin natin that this will be a. Okay, so this is A, and this will be CB. Okay, so we are going to area uh, to get the area under this curve inside these intervals. Okay, so how do we do that? We do yung um, rectangle method and gets the uh, get the approximate area. So I divide natin to into n rectangles with equal um equal width okay so yung n natin is yung mga rectangle okay so drawing tayo ng isang rectangle dito okay that will be one tapos yung susunod will be dito naman Basta equal yung width nila. Okay. The third one. Dito na. And for the fourth one is. Ayan. Okay. So. Let's say A is equal to. X sub zero. So, yung A natin is equal to x sub 0. So, this will be x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and B is equal to x sub n. Okay? So, ngayon, tong height natin, tong height ng rectangle natin, which is here. Okay, so ito siya. Yan, for the second one. Dito. Third one here. And for the fourth one, dito naman. Okay. So, this will be, let's denote this as f of z sub 1. Okay. And dito, f of z sub 2, f of z sub 3 and f of z sub 4. So, how do you get the area of a, of a rectangle? So, approximate area natin will be the composite area. So, this is equal to area of rectangle 1 plus area of rectangle 2. This is rectangle 1, rectangle 2, rectangle 3, and rectangle 4. Area of rectangle 2 plus area of rectangle 3 plus dot 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 area of rectangle n. Okay? So, area of rectangle 1 will be equal to um, length times width. So, ito yung length nya, ito yung width nya. What is our width? Okay, so our width is equal to n. x, x sub 0 or x sub 0, and the x sub 1 minus x sub 0. So, delta x natin, which is the change in the values of x, will be equal to x sub 1 minus x sub 0. So, ito ngayon, tong, um, tong length na to, or tong width na to, is equal to delta x. Now, since equal width sila, lahat yan delta x yan. So, if we try to... Um, sulat yung formula ng rectangle natin, area of a rectangle, that will be, for our first rectangle, that is equal to f of z sub 1 times delta x. Okay? And then plus, since delta x lahat ng width, ang mag-iiba lang is yung length niya. 
So this will be f of z sub 2 times delta x plus dot 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 f of z sub n delta x. Okay, so yan yung magiging formula ng approximate area under the curve natin. Now, um, okay, so if we are going to compress this formula into, um, i-compress natin siya, magiging, okay, summation siya. Okay, so we all know that summation is, yung pinag-a-add na ganito. So, f of z sub i delta x where i is from 1 to n. So, yan lang naman yung nagbabago and si delta x is constant. So, pwede natin gamitin si summation. Now, um, now this formula, okay, this formula is what we call this formula is what we call the Riemann sum sorry the Riemann sum if we take the limits of n approaching infinity okay so this is what we call the Riemann sum ito this is the Riemann sum okay so ito yung Riemann sum natin and if we um, convert it into integral formula, magiging ganito siya. Of course, meron na tayong limits kasi bounded na siya ng dalawang points. Okay? We are getting areas under the curve bounded by two points. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung formula ng definite integral natin. Okay? So, let's proceed. Now, we have the properties of summation. So, summation of c from i equal to 1 to n is equal to c n. And then we have um, the summation of c times f of x from i is equal to 1 to n is equal to c. Okay, so i-isolate natin c constant or c scalar value. And then we get the summation of the function of x from 1 to n. And for the third one, the summation of f of x plus g of x from i equal to 1 to n is equal to the summation of f of x i equal to 1 to n plus the summation of g of x i equal to 1 to n. So, separately natin silang, um, separately kunin yung summation and then we add the sum. Okay? We add the values. So, those are the different properties of summation. Now, for the formulas naman, if we are getting the summation of i from 1 to n, ito yung magiging formula natin. For i squared naman, from i equal to 1 to n, this will be the formula, and so on, hanggang i raised to 4. Okay. Now, let's try examples. So, example number 1, the summation of 6i plus 3 where i is equal to 1 to n and n is equal to 4. So, anong gagawin natin? This will be equal to ci si um, replace natin ng 1 to 4. Okay? So, since sinabi dito yung limit ng n natin. So, this will be equal to 6 times 1 plus 3 and then plus 6 times 2 plus 3 and then plus 6 times 3 plus 4 plus 6 times 4 plus 3. This is plus 3. Okay. And then we add this one. We simplify. This is equal to 9. And this is equal to 15. This is equal to 21. And this is equal to 27. So, if you add that, you will get a value of 72. So, that is the value of our equation. Now, if you are going to get um, the 
summation of this one in your calculators, you're just going to press shift and then yung log. Log below the on button. And then input mo si um, function mo, which is gamitin mo function of x. Okay? So yung i mo magiging x. And then input mo yung limits mo, which is 1 to n. And n is equal to 4. And then press equals. So lalabas agad yung answer mo. Okay, so you can do that to check if tama yung nakuha yung sagot. But in your exam, I need a solution like this. Okay? So, next example tayo, 12i cube where n is equal to 10. So, meron tayong i cube dito. And 12 is a um, constant. So, formula natin dyan will be um, combination of si properties, si number 2. Okay, so separate natin si constant, and then we get the summation of i cube. So, anong formula ng, sige, um, summation of i cube from i equal to 1 to n. Okay, so anong formula nito? This will be equal to 12 from the formulas. This is equal to n squared times n plus 1 squared all over 4. So, ang gagawin na lang natin dito is to plug yung mga values ng n. So, this will be equal to 12 times 10 squared times 10 plus 1 quantity squared all over 4. And if you are going to compute that sa calculator, that will be equal to 36,300. Okay, and if you are going to check that using the summation formula on your calculators, you will also get 36,300. Okay, so ang input ninyo sa calculator ninyo will be, um, may ganyan siya. So this will be 12x cube from 1 to 10, and then press equals. So, lalabas will be 36,300. So, you can use your calculators to actually check for your answers. Now, for this one, okay, so addition siya. So, separately, kunin natin yung summation. So, this will be equal to the summation of, okay, meron tayong constant dito. So, isolate natin. And then, i squared from i equal to 1 to 10 pa rin. And then plus 2, the summation of i, i equal to 1 to 10. And then plus the summation of a constant, which is c 1. Okay, so i squared tayo, what is our formula? This will be equal to 3 times, formula natin will be n times n plus 1 times 2n, I'm sorry, that will be 2n plus 1 all over 6. So, that is the formula for the summation of i squared plus 2, yung i naman natin, that is equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. And then, for our constant, how do we get the summation of a constant? That will be equal to c times n. So, 1 plus pala yun. 1 sa c natin times n which is c, 10. So, this will be equal to, plug natin si 10, 3 times 10 times 10 plus 1 is 11 times 10 times 2 is 20 plus 1 so that will be 21 all over 6 plus cancel natin si 2 dito so we will be left with 10 times 10 plus 1 okay and then plus 1 times 10 is 30 at uh, 20 at uh, 10 sorry so this will be equal to simplifying further 
3 times 10 times 11 times 21 over 6, that will be equal to 1,155. 1,155. And then 10 times 10 plus 1, that will be equal to 110. And then plus 10. So if you add this one, that will be equal to 1,275. So that is the summation of our function limits from 1 to 10. Okay? And if you are going to calculate that on your um, calculator, using your calculator, input nyo will be um, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 x from 1 to 10. So, if you press yung equals, ang lalabas dyan will be 1,275. So, that is the summation notation.